Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, our input one is a faulty to our 1K F02 analog card for at least the potential, uh, not the potential, the PT100 part of it. As you can see, my number, it should be showing roughly about 220 or something like 220, 230. And as you can see, it's fluctuating and it's sort of somewhere in the minus. This looks like we have a faulty channel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today as you can see we did a bit of a different a different intro because we, I thought it would be fun for a change, hopefully you enjoyed it, if not let me know. So we are continuing today with our PT100 probe, we're going to be wiring this probe into our a 1KF which is the S, uh, SM331 1KF as you can see and as you can see from the intro we have a faulty channel 1, channel 1 is uh, not able to accept any temperature probes or resistors because uh, well it's faulty it's just it's just as you've seen in our intro the numbers was flying all over the place and they should be nice and steady roughly about temperature range what we are seeing here in our garage or on my workshop in here so having said that all the other channels are still fully working so we moved on to the next available channel so for this channel in here we're going to be using uh, this wiring diagram right here in here and as you can see it explains you you have a two wire three wire and four, uh, two four wires in here and sort of explains you what each thing it is and uh it's actually quite self-explanatory you're going to be using the s plus m and minus m for all of these channels so we're going to be using this channel right here to uh get what we're well get our first reading going so uh, uh and pretty much this is the diagram we're going to be using very straight forward usually again the temperature probe not sure you watched the last video. If no, then for this video, uh, you will have the red uh, red cable coming in here. You will have red and two blues. Often that is the case is red and two blues. Again, I don't know. I've seen temperature probes in different colors, but the most common is red and two blues for the three wire. But if it's a two wire, you just you just follow exactly what it tells you here in uh, in the wiring diagram. It tells you in here. So with two wire, insert the bridge between M and S. It's quite straight forward no, nothing too too crazy quite fairly easy so uh so yeah this is this is what we did as you can see uh red is a plus and then is a pretty much you can see that that would be like a bridge for the two wire it's just it's just got another wire coming out it's, it is literally joined up to get it inside the actual probe itself so uh, i'm not sure why that doing it like that but it is what it is so uh and uh it's uh sort of uh, creating a three wire but yeah so eight in our case, 8 and 10 is joined together, and 9 is R+. Plus. So, that's pretty much temperature probe, uh, temperature probe wired in. There is our probe. We're going to leave it on there. Let's sit on there. So, let's just end, uh, go into TR portal, set this up, and get this a reading. And for, get to have a look in the reading. So, before we can do anything, we do may need to make sure that our card is set, our channel is set up to uh, and doing what we want to do. Let me check. Uh, do, I think I already changed the. Uh, yeah, I changed my tag. So temperature PT100. So we changed that one. So basically the naming down there. And uh, programs in there. So we need to go into the card itself. And as you can see, we'll be working with the channel one. As you can see uh, there, I've been working with my A. Uh, Channel zero, which was a bit of a disappointment. So the card no longer will be able to go for lucky customer. Guys, anything you see down here, what you what is in my videos, is all within my store. If you're interested, definitely check it out. So uh, let's change change that to the RTD. So that's what I'm working on. And uh, uh, PT100 climate range. It's something different. It's it's, it's absolutely different uh, measurements. So uh, uh, you need to go for the standard. So if you are just measuring just basic temperatures, which is I don't know what the temperature range. Can't remember what it was. Uh, you need to go to PT one standard, PT one hundred standard. As you can see in here, there's quite a bit more extra options, uh, more than the seven KF one. So uh, so yeah, if you are looking for to working with the different uh, type of uh, uh, temperature probes. With the different uh, ranges so yeah so as you can see they are all here 
So uh, once we've done that, we need to load that into the PLC, provided that you be, what we did it in here. Again, guys, the writing, the writing of the actual address, as always, let's delete that. I'll show you. It's you have to put the P in front of it, in front of the address uh, for 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 this type of addressing. So it's a P I W two five. Uh, what was it? What was it? Two five six. Come on, two five eight. Two five. 258 don't forget to put that p in front of it otherwise you will not be able to read it out for you so i haven't done that so that's all set set we've done that we've done that so the channel's pretty much ready to rock and roll so let's load it in so uh that should be fairly quick doing this business i'll tell you one thing the the mpi uh what's it called the uh, pc adapter uh it's just mpi it's 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 quite significantly faster than the than the ethernet one so I, i'm actually quite preferring the communications with the mpi adapter but yeah unfortunately it's getting phased out so i haven't done i haven't done that i haven't done that so let's go into the monitoring mode see what we find so oh our reading is on 2552 that is not correct what did we do wrong let's check it out that's not right oh we left it in a climatic range well here we go did you did you just see that the climatic range is different than uh uh, standard range, so uh, I think it adds an ad additional digit by the looks of it. Uh, right, standard, that's what we need to do. Duh, I bet you're all like, oh my god, look at him, missing out. So let's pump that in again. We're having fun down there, boys and girls. Come on, let's pump you in. So, uh, yeah, and these analog signals are all going to be used to motor temperature measurements and things like that. Again, we're going to check that in the next video. It's, it's no point to talk about it now. So, uh, e now let's go into Mr. Glassy Man. And we should see more or less. I think it looks like it just, yeah, it looks like it just adds another digit for the climatic one. I'm not sure why. But as you can see, it shows about 25.6 degrees. That's a little bit, that's about three degrees out. So I'd say, uh, because uh, my, my garage is roughly about 22 degrees, and if you haven't watched the last video, remember my uh, when, I, when we were using a, a 7KF, we were getting perfectly good reading out of it. So let's uh, let's expand this a little bit. Oh, not there. Right, let's get that camera a little bit bigger. So let's put a hand on it. Oh, once it decides to uh, do the flip over, I'm... So if you put a hand on it, that should start warming up and digits should start going up. There we go. Let's see to what warmth we can get down. I reckon about 30 or something. And that's pretty much giving you a gist how the, uh, it's, uh, it's sold the card itself. So like I, I didn't really test that in the last video, but there we go. You can see, you put a hand on it and the digits are going to start going up. And you can really do a lot of things with this kind of information. So these digital this the digital readout from a terminal uh, this this uh, this temperature probe is coming in and you can do so much programming uh, with it and uh, and measurement comparing and adding and try it, 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 there there is that's why I don't do the the program itself because there's so many different applications out there. It's just the key in here for us as you can see me by testing the card properly i found out that my resistance uh, resistor and gives you a sort of good idea as well if you are uh, having a faults with your uh, system and uh, readings are not matching or something's uh, jumping around and not uh, functioning correctly the best your best because remember this guy doesn't have diagnostics this card doesn't have diagnostics it will not be popping out anything to you and not showing you anything so it's very good idea to have a uh, handy ti portal next to you connecting to it and um, I mean, look what's going on in the upcoming videos. Later videos, we have a look at it. How can we do that remotely? Not remotely. I mean, within the same network and things like that. And in the future, in the distant future, we have a look at that. Uh, I think it's called Skylands, 
in those systems how can we get connected remotely and all oh, there's so many things you can do and uh, to monitor and fault find your uh, system so that ladies and gentlemen we'll conclude with the PT100 uh, uh, temperature probes in the next uh, video we're gonna be looking at a uh, TC temperature probes so uh, we're gonna check out how they are wired for both the cards and hopefully we can be able to breeze through that quite quickly uh, with these two and that's pretty much will conclude these two uh, cards and obviously I've got the whole list of cards out there but we'll see how we progress because I, I work on so many different things so that will do ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and hopefully this is giving you a good idea and luckily for us we were able to find one of the faults so uh, it's, it's, it's giving you an idea, as you can see, what happens and how we read it out. So yeah, if you like the video, don't forget to smash that like and do subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you, of course, if you do like what we're doing here. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.